Hi everybody, Vincent here, and today I wanted to talk about the fact that I got a new camera. You're looking at the Blackmagic Pocket 6K Pro right there uh, on my other camera. So that is the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K Pro. That's not the only thing I want to talk about in today's video though. I actually want to tell you a little uh, secret. I have been working on an upcoming documentary about the Internet of Things. and. You'll be seeing some more stuff about that pretty soon. There's a link in the description, if you check the description of this video right now, to the website for the film. I encourage you to check out the website so that way you can see uh, the updates. I'll be doing uh, occasional blog posts on there. There's a mailing list you, you can subscribe to to get uh, regular updates. And when the film is released on different video on demand platforms, you'll get a uh, email every so often no notifying you of those places so you can go and check it out. So I hope that you'll find the documentary as interesting as I think that it will hopefully be. Um, and yeah, uh, this is the Blackmagic camera you're seeing me on right now. I hope it looks good. I, I'm uh, shooting portions of the film on the Blackmagic camera, so I hope you like the look of it. You'll be seeing more of it in the film. Um, I'm also going to use it for some of my YouTube videos coming up as well. And I'm probably going to do some videos about this camera. Uh, right now I'm at ISO 400 and uh, uh, a couple stops of ND. And it looks great. It looks great. Um, still trying to get used to the way the camera works and being able to use the raw workflow and all that kind of stuff and how big the, the video files are. But they're phenomenal for grading and just so much quality there. Um, I'm really big fans of the Arri Alexa image quality. And I have to say, you know, there is a tiny difference between the Alexa and this from an image quality standpoint. A build quality and usability, there's definitely differences, of course. Even though I haven't shot an Alexa, even I can tell, yeah, the Alexa is designed for crews and, you know, different things. And it's definitely going to be more robust at the price points that the Alexas go at. But uh, from a quality standpoint, you're getting pretty close to the same destination. Not quite there, but pretty close. It's amazing just how close that this camera, light, light years cheaper than an Alexa is can actually be I'll put a link in the description to a video I seen on YouTube that actually compares this to one of the Alexa models and just you can see for yourself the images side by side it's amazing just how close these uh, cameras have gotten so but anyway I hope you enjoyed today's video it's just a quick one and until next time everybody thanks for watching see you again goodbye everybody